Assalamu alaikum. In today's lecture, we are going to talk about the ecosystems. What are the ecosystems? What are their different properties? Then we are also going to talk about the basic components of an ecosystem. And then we are going to talk about some examples of different ecosystems from the world and from Pakistan. We start with our today's lecture, ecosystem. What is an ecosystem? Ecosystem is an area in which the living factors or the biotic factors are living in interaction with each other and with their physical and chemical environment that is the abiotic factors. Usually ecosystems consist of a specific type of climate in which all the biotic factors that is the living components are uh, well settled in their environment in that environment and the physical factors support the presence of a particular type of life in that area. So, ecosystem is an area a specific part of the world where a biotic community uh, we can say the biotic factors are living uh, with in interaction with each other and with their physical and chemical environment that is the abiotic factors. Now, there are many types of ecosystems mainly divided into two major categories aquatic and terrestrial. Aquatic, aquatic ecosystems are those which are um, present in the waters, in the oceans, in the seas and uh, sometimes uh, lakes, small lakes, very large lakes, ponds. Because we know that uh, a very major part of the world consists of water. So, water supports different kinds of life. Then comes the terrestrial ecosystems. Terrestrial ecosystems are the ecosystems present on land. As we know that land is uh, also um, diverse. We have different types of lands on mountains, in the valleys, the deserts, uh, those areas which are covered with snow all the year like the um, uh, Arctic area and so on. So, terrestrial ecosystems they are also very diverse in their forms. So, ecosystems if we widely divide them we can divide them into two categories aquatic present in water, terrestrial present on land. Now, we are going to talk about basic components of an ecosystem. What are the basic components of an ecosystem? If we widely divide the, the components of an ecosystem, we can divide them into two. The biotic components, the living factors or in other words the living organisms and the abiotic factors or the non-living factors. For example, water, temperature, air, light, the biotic factors include the plants, the animals, the bacteria, the viruses, the fungi, the algae, all of the living organisms. So, we divide the components of an ecosystem into biotic and abiotic, living and non-living. Now, first we talk about the biotic components, biotic, the living components, living components of an ecosystem. Living components when they are further divided into subgroups, we divide them according to the energy flow. We know that all the energy which is entering into an ecosystem is coming through sunlight. Sunlight brings the en energy and the plants or some other organisms which can carry out a specific process called photosynthesis can use the sun sunlight energy and convert it into chemical form of energy and food, food in the form of carbohydrates. This food and this energy then flows in into whole of the living part of ecosystem from plants to animals for example and from animals to fungi the other decomposers. We divide the biotic components by this uh, process we called the trophic levels that is the feeding levels different feeding levels in an ecosystem because we know that feeding or energy flow this is the major property of life. According to the trophic levels we divide organisms the living organisms into three major categories the producers, 
the consumers and the decomposers. Producers, for example, plants, algae, consumers, for example, the animals and the decomposers, the fungi and the bacteria. Producers, the plants, algae, few bacteria, some protista, unicellular organisms. We call them producers because they have a capability to convert the sunlight energy by the photosynthesis process and another process called Calvin cycle into the chemical form of energy that is utilized by the living organisms for their life processes and they can also convert inorganic carbon molecules and make organic carbon molecules for their own use and for the use by the consumers. We make energy pyramids uh, or food pyramids in the ecosystem. The slide shows that the producers are at the base of the energy pyramid or the food pyramid. Producers, the plants, they are much more in their numbers because they have to produce food and of course, they also have to sustain themselves for producing more food. At the next level comes the consumers. The animals, for example, they have to consume the food produced by the producers. So, their number is less than that of producers because they have to eat upon producers and the producers have to sustain for supporting the animal life form. If they eat up all the producers, then what will happen? They will die. So, consumers, their number is less than that of producers. Then comes the third part, the decomposers. These are very important. Some, uh, the fungi and some bacteria, they are decomposers. They decompose the organic matter, for example, the dead bodies of uh, plants and animals. They also decompose or break down the, for example, uh, for different parts of organism's body, for example, the fallen branches of the trees, the fallen leaves of the trees. Just like we know that in the sand, the leaves of the trees fall down, and the small trees, the small trees, fall down, and the leaves of the trees 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 fall down. आहिस्ता आहिस्ता वो मिट्टी का हिस्सा बन जाती हैं और यहाँ पर फंजाई और कुछ बैक्टीरिया होते हैं जो इनको तोड़ फोड़ कर इनको बहुत छोटे पार्ट्स में कन्वर्ट कर देते हैं और अल्टीमेटली इनसे डिफरेंट टाइप के ऑर्गेनिक और इनऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड्स बना देते हैं ये कंपाउंड्स प्लांट्स अपनी फूड के तौर पर यूज़ कर सकते हैं प्लांट्स अपने गिरे हुए पार्ट्स को डायरेक्टली इस्तेमाल नहीं कर सकते इसकी बजाय वो बैक्टीरिया के कन्वर्ट किए हुए छोटे छोटे पार्ट्स को जो कि कंपाउंड्स की शक्ल में होते हैं इस्तेमाल कर सकते हैं तो डीकम्पोजर्स का बहुत अहम रोल है द रोल ऑफ डीकम्पोजर्स इज एक्चुअली टू कन्वर्ट द डेड ऑर्गेनिक मैटर मे बी अ फॉलन पार्ट ऑफ अ प्लांट मे बी द डेड बॉडी ऑफ एन एनिमल और अ प्लांट and they convert it into smaller molecules, smaller compounds which could be utilized by the producers, plants, again through the soil and then they become part of the, um, somehow part of the plant's body. And then it comes back to the consumers and then to the decomposers and back to the producers. So a cycle continues like this. So the producers, they mix food and they convert the sun, the energy coming through sunlight into chemical energy and they convert inorganic carbon molecules into the organic carbon molecules. Without the producers, no life. Plants are necessary for supporting life. Also, photosynthetic bacteria are necessary for um, life. The algae, they are also required for life. We look at another pyramid. This pyramid shows a further leveling of uh, different types of organisms. We can see at the base there is a grass. Producers, they utilize the sunlight, make carbohydrates, makes energy. These are eaten up by the herbivore animals, the animals which uh, actually eat upon the plants. Then we also call them primary consumers. Then there are certain uh, next level, 
the organisms which eat upon the primary consumers, the herbivores, which eat the herbivores. For example, cows eats grass and lion eats the cows. Grass is producer, cow is primary consumer, lion is secondary consumer. Sometimes there are tertiary consumers. We also can call them secondary carnivores, which eat upon other carnivores. For example, there are um, rats or mice or frogs or sometimes grasshoppers which eat up the grass. Then a mouse, for example, eat upon that grasshopper. A snake eat upon the mouse and an eagle eats upon the snake. So an eagle is actually eating um, a snake which have already eaten a mouse and a mouse was e had eaten um, a grasshopper and grasshopper had eaten grass. So the eagle is a tertiary consumer. We also can call it a secondary carnivore. That is the carnivore which is eating another carnivore. In ecosystems, lot many chains and pyramids like this do exist. These are actually relationships between different feeding levels. We call them pyramids because their shape when we make them um, in the form of numbers, they are in the form of, uh, of a pyramid. That is producers more, they have to support a consumer life, the herbivores. Then comes uh, carnivores, carnivores number is fewer than the herbivores. Then comes the secondary carnivores, their number is also less than that of uh, the primary carnivores and so on. So these are the ecological pyramids. The relationship between the biotic factors according to their feeding level.